Kenta Maeda was back on the mound for the Minnesota Twins, and he pitched about as good as anybody really could have expected. Five shutout innings for Kenta, three hits, two walks, eight strikeouts against the Tigers today for Kenta Maeda. So good to see him back. Uh, topped out at 91.2 miles per hour, but of course, as you're seeing with these highlights, you know his fastball is like his third pitch. He's slider, splitter, uh, primarily. So, uh, and Kenta brings a lot of you know veteran leadership to this team. He brings a lot of spirit, a lot of fire. You know, this is a big deal for Kenta Maeda today. So nice to see him pitch well and pick up a win. Here are the pitching lines from this game. Good performance out of the bullpen. Brock Stewart, man. I uh, can't say enough good things about him. A 0.73 ERA now. Griffin Jacks with what I believe is his 14th consecutive scoreless outing. And then Duran comes in for the save, his 10th of the season. Gets three Ks. Over on the hitting side, Royce Lewis got the Twins on the board with a home run. His fourth home run of the season. This was his 20th game of the season for the Twins so far. So he's been a great spark plug. So far, he gets the vest. He gets to go fishing. Max Kepler also in the second inning. He homers. This was Max's third homer in the last four games. This was kind of a blast there. That's a deep part of this ballpark off a of lefty, too, for Kepler. So good to see Max picking it up. Obviously, you know if they're going to roll with him, we want to see him playing well. So hopefully he keeps it rolling. Uh, overall, though, the Twins struggled offensively. 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. So thank goodness they got those home runs. Uh, the other run was scored on a wild pitch. Uh, but another element of this game that was interesting was everything going on with Lance Barrett, the home plate umpire. Uh, not only you see here the, did the Twins have three guys ejected, uh, first time in 20 years since that's happened, uh, but he called one of the worst strike zones. I mean, it's hard to say this because we've seen a lot of bad zones, but he called a horrible strike zone. That's not even what Rocco was arguing. Rocco was arguing uh, that there was a balk, basically that the pitcher wasn't coming set. That's how he got tossed. Uh, but Michael A. Taylor did ar argue the strike zone. And Taylor's not a guy I usually you think of, you know, to, to be like this. Um, so, that I mean, that tells you that something was going on. And then one of the assistant... A uh, hitting coach is, gets tossed. I kind of like this move nonchalantly leaving, and then he must have dropped some, you know, f bomb something, and Barrett tossed him too. So three t twins get ejected. Moving over to St. Paul, and I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Anthony Prado's playing well again. Uh, if you watched the system recaps last year, this guy was like almost a nightly feature. Anthony Prado uh, he had a great year with Cedar Rapids. Uh, continued it with Wichita. Got off to just a horrible, horrible start to this season. He had a 553 OPS in 43 games with Wichita. Uh, but the Saints needed some infield depth. He gets promoted, and he has been lightning in a bottle since then. In 11 games with the Saints, he has a 1.059 OPS, an OPS over 1,000. Had a homer and two doubles tonight. You can see him hitting the ball hard all of, to all fields in this one so looking like vintage 2022 anthony prado right now for the saints love to see it that guy's fun to watch moving on to double a and here is brooks lee he had another home run his fifth of the season of course the twins number one uh, draft pick first round pick from last season this was a bomb to dead center uh, he seems to have some more power from the left side does brooks lee uh, so good to see out of him Moving over to Cedar Rapids. And they had Tanner Schobel and Emmanuel Rodriguez go back-to-back -back in this one. Schobel's ninth home run of the season. This was like a moonshot. It went way up there uh, for him. And then Rodriguez homers to center. That short, compact swing of his. His tenth of the season. So those guys getting it done. Unfortunately, not a lot of W's to find. The Saints won, but everybody else got beat on the minor league side. Here are some of the notable hitting performances. Of course, we already took a look at some of these guys. Down in Fort Myers, Rubel Cespedes had a nice game. And then over to the pitching side, uh, Louis Varlin made his first start back with the Saints. Didn't really look himself in that one. Um, understandably, probably not too happy to be back down there. Marco Raya also didn't pitch as well as we're expecting to see out of him of late. 
uh, but had a lot of inherited runner score that kind of messed up his line a bit. Here are the results again. The Twins and Saints win, but the Surge Colonels and Muscles all lose. Thanks so much for checking this one out. Really appreciate it. Uh, here are the premium members. Thanks to all of the channel members. We'll talk again soon.